Hey hi hello welcome back to my new video guys this is Sampati watching Sampati Sam FX YouTube channel and this is the POCO X3 as you can see this is the POCO X3 and recently I have flashed this MIUI XR TV let me show you as you can see this is the Hellas MIUI 12.5.4 latest version of this POCO X3 as you can see here let's begin with this dialer you will you get MIUI dialer let's see you will get direct video call feature let me enable the volume here ok video call direct feature is available let's see whether call recording option is available or not yes call recording option is available you can auto call record also that's not a problem as you can see let me show you settings as you can see call recording is off you can turn it on and even you can record calls automatically that's not a problem in this ROM Hellas MIUI Hellas XR TV XTRV sorry XTRV based ROM this is pretty good this is the latest version of MIUI 12.5.4 and the good thing in the camera application is we got some of the changes like dynamic shots if you take any certain photo let me show you it takes plenty of shots within that it has selected one among this if you want to see that as you can see this is how the gallery you will get and here you need to press this then you will come to know there are like seven shots have been taken within that it is chosen the best shot this is how the dynamic shot feature works in the camera application this is the new feature after this update i am seeing in this poco x3 and these all the features you get all the vlog features here as you can see those are same nothing new here camera application is working fine if you want you can use gcam in this rom that's not a problem and coming to drm info you will get wide one level one certification which is not a problem watching hd content in ott application is not a problem and regarding payment applications also you can definitely try it out it's not a problem all are working fine as you can see because safety and status get passed in this rom as you can see that's how it get passed all the basic applications miui applications are pre-installed in this rom that's not a problem here for example security app is pre-installed in that you will get game turbo mode let's go into the settings additional settings no game is added let's add the game here before that for example i have added bgma now go into the settings and go to additional settings and select the game you get these kind of options which are previously there nothing new here but it has been given in this rom memory exceptions these all the things enhanced experience you can choose from here turn off auto brightness turn off reading mode restrict screenshot gestures and don't open notifications yet. you can enable or disable these of the things which may experience the better gameplay while playing your favorite games like battlegrounds games any other games that's not a problem here and me calculator is given all are working fine not a problem in this room and let's go into the this press and hold and this is how the new layout you can see here and into the settings more default launcher is MIUI launcher okay and system navigation you get all these options buttons gestures and gesture confirmation you can hide full screen indicator if you want that's there and minus one screen you get app world google discord you can even keep none also and uh, search bar provider you will get both of this you can choose among this lock screen layout you can home screen i mean you can lock the home screen layout and hide app icons are also available here and global icon animations you can enable or disable from here blur app previews also working fine not a problem these all the home screen settings you get and in the wallpapers you get these kind of live wallpapers which is pretty good that's how the live wallpapers work you can apply from here that's not a problem 
I'll show you one thing. I have already applied it. This one. And by the way, you can check out face unlock also. It's pretty quick. As you can see, it's pretty quick. The face unlock is it's working fine in this room. And even the fingerprint unlock, let me show you. The okay, it's fast. I have to keep touch rather than press. Let's see in the lock screen settings, we can change that password and security. And the fingerprint unlock keep it touch then it will be easy to unlock and even you get app lock and fingerprint payments also you can choose from here as you can see and the privacy password you can choose from here let's see now how it works just tap unlock very quick It's very quick. The fingerprint unlock is also working fine. Now go into the settings. What all the settings you will get in the my device? I already shown this how it recognized as Poco X NFC. We don't have here 5160 mAh. We have here 6000 mAh battery. And wallpaper and personalization you get these kind of settings here. All mirror 12.5 style only. Fonts also you can choose. Many are available. I have selected here. Winter is coming. It's looking cool here and the lock screen settings you get sleep time you can choose from here rest to wake is there double tap to wake on turn on screen is there and display charging animation after device that's also there let's see what is the charging animation we get in this room this how charging animation and sound you get within this room and in the display settings you get light mode dark mode is also working fine as you can see it's look pretty good the dark mode you can see here this is how the dark mode works on this poco x of the miui 12.5.4 miui hellas version this is xtrv rom you can even choose some of the options here are just text and backgrounds automatically now I'll disable the dark mode. Brightness level you can adjust. Sunlight mode is also given here. Night mode brightness also here. This is a new thing I am seeing. Color scheme you get plenty of options here. Movie bit saturated and this all settings. In the reading mode you get like this. In refresh rate, I have selected 120 Hz only. I am using with 120 Hz refresh rate on this. Okay, except the MIUI 12.5.4, this MIUI Hellas version. And you get auto rotate screen, allow all rotations, full screen mode. You can select from here, which is the app you want to see in the full screen mode that is there. And sound and vibration, you get all the options like haptic feedback you can enable from here sound effects is also available you can choose presets it's like dolby atmos like that you can select from here and no problem while using in wired earphones and i also tested with this bluetooth earphones not a problem with poco xc with this rom and coming to notifications control center you get app notifications here you can enable or disable from here notification shade you can choose between this and also you can select whether to show information of whether or not or expand top notification we can expand the top notification from here that's not a problem and you can choose between old and new control center and there are plenty of options are also given in this room and smartphone is also given and this is the options you'll get status bar you can enable or disable some of the options in this rom let's go into the home screen settings i already explained in the password security also i already explained everything in the privacy protection you get all these settings high risk permissions permissions notifications you can turn on or disable from here in the additional settings you get date and time language and input and region you can select in the button shortcuts plenty are given as you can see slides three finger to take a screenshot is working fine you can scroll and edit later also that's not a problem 
this all the options you get gesture shortcuts also given button shortcuts is also given led light also you can choose here if you want to blink the light whenever notification comes or during the charging you can light up the led notification that's not a problem quick ball feature is also working fine one handed mode is also given clear speaker is given and accessibility menu is also working fine not a problem memory extension this is the one thing new added in this MIUI 12.5.4 in you know, a global also in EU also in this MIUI Hellas also this is based on that MIUI 12.5.4 latest update on this POCO XC and memory extension is the one feature and the dynamic shots in the camera application that is one feature and UI smoothness is there little bit lag is there right now but overall it's smooth enough as you can see this how the recent apps you get here you can see the ram available it's not showing that included extended ram i wish that would have been added here let's see if it is added or not this how the rom performance and coming to like geekbench scores the performance is extraordinary but you know miui is miui even though the performance is good here and there you will see the lags but this is how the 561 single score and multi score 1721 and the kernel used here is linux 4.14.180 perf kernel motherboard karna it has recognized as but we are using surya anyhow the rom performance is excellent with added that mui here and there lags that will be there right now i have seen but yesterday it was not there right now it's little bit laggy when and and this is the performance of this ROM as you can see let's open the BGMA and see the settings that's how the performance it's fine but i did not get any better thing it's fine actually the performance in this rom is fine you can definitely play it out but it's not extremely smooth as i checked the previous rom you can check out here i will give the card here you can check out the pixel experience and at 12 ish that has very good performance comparing to this one and regarding gaming i am speaking regarding normal thing it's fine and this of the rom it's fine you can definitely try it out as a daily driver if you are me a kind of person you get additional the super live wallpapers and in the camera this dynamic shots new feature and memory extension this all the new features added in this latest version i hope you guys like the video if you like the video give it a like and if you're still not subscribed to my youtube channel hit that subscribe down below and also follow the bell notification by pressing the bell icon and thank you for watching guys we'll meet with another interesting video until that keep smiling bye bye for now